amazing to be the first person to win the same WPT event twice and kind of, you know, cement myself in the history books. Playing these events, I'm happy to be able to put myself in a position to, to go deep, to be chip leader, to, to make final tables, and, and more about like the, the process of getting there. It doesn't always work out. I've had, you know, maybe a dozen or so situations where, you know, I go deep and I think I'm gonna win and you know, it doesn't pan out and that's how tournaments go. So coming into the final table, Jake and I had around like 70% of the chips in play. It's actually a similar dynamic to uh, my final table win here five years ago. My plan was to put a lot of pressure on the middling stacks, put a lot of ICM pressure on people. I think I executed that fairly well. In terms of heads up, my friend Jonathan Jaffe is a heads up expert. So I had a little chat with him about um, what type of strategy I was gonna take, particularly against Jake if, if we got heads up. So I was pretty prepared what I was going to do with certain hands, you know, having him uh, in my corner was instrumental. As far as I know, I, you know, I was, I was planning on playing the rest of the WPTs throughout the season in regards to uh, chasing WPT player of the year. So my name is Brian Altman and I'm a two-time WPT champion. For nonstop poker action at home or on the go, sign up today at clubwpt.com where you'll never lose a dime playing poker, guaranteed.